These quarries beneath the battlefields of World War I are Jeff Gusky's obsession. The American doctor turned photographer is fascinated by the artwork left behind by the Allied soldiers. From intricate sculptures carved in the rock walls to their names etched in pen. You feel the, the hand of the person that made this. You know, it, it, it adds a human dimension to World War I that makes 100 years seem like a day. Up to a thousand men lived for weeks at a time in this quarry in Picardy as they waited to be sent to the front line. Most of the artwork reveals their optimism, nice their belief in God, their patriotism and their love for women. But some of the sculptures reveal much darker fears. I believe it's a psychological portrait showing the demon within. Here is a young American soldier coming to the Western Front having to uh, potentially kill other people. It's really horrible. But vandalism is a constant problem. Quarries like these are easy to access, and neither landowners nor conservation groups have the means to protect them from thieves. It's, it's so upsetting. Look, they, they would paint over um, uh, an original inscription of 100 years ago. I mean, this is terrible. Frank Villart works for the local authority, which has been struggling for years to protect these works of art. It's clear that there's a problem of security. It's for this reason that we're working with Americans like Jeff Gusky to find the funds to protect these sites along with the landowners and local organizations. Jeff's photos are going on display at a local World War I centenary exhibition. But he hopes his photographs will touch many more people online, providing a direct link with the young men who fought and died in one of the bloodiest wars of human history.